Okay, let's get started. For this demonstration, I'm going to log into Information Hub as the administrator. I can give this view to any user and let them log in. They can have the, the folder view on the left so they can see what different folders they have access to and available so they can go to the different reports and designs to run them directly from here. I can also embed those into other applications, make it easy so they don't even have to see this view. And what I want to do is create a new report and I will go into our studio. The studio is a servlet, so instead of bringing the users in this way, I can also put a link on a web page that they might be at inside an application to bring them into the studio to the exact location where they need to be, maybe even with the data preloaded for them that they want based upon where they were in that. So I have a lot of choices on how I want to get the user into Studio because it is an applet and I can call it through a URL. In this case, they get, first of all, they're presented with the data to use. They only get to see the data they have rights to that's been put there and, and fully vetted for them. I'm going to choose data from the project root. This is sample data that we ship with our product and it's classic models. I could choose data design which says I'll go back to the source data, query it and pull it back for you live. That's good if the, I need to see the data live. In this case I'm going to use dot data which says the data is cached on the server. I might schedule that to run daily, twice a day, whatever I need to have that data updated so the users aren't always going back and putting the performance hit on the back end servers. So we're going to choose that I want the data model dot data and I'll move that over and say OK. So now I've got my data ready to go and I can choose different visualizations. And what I'm going to do today to build my report is my boss has asked me for a list of all the US customers and their credit limit because he sort of wants to look and see you know do we have too much credit line outstanding you know what's our risk there and so we'd quickly like to see you know just all the customers in the US and the outstanding credit limits on those so we'll start out with a table just drag and drop that over and we're presented with the data that I've already selected so I'm gonna choose that I want customer data I can move the fields over one at a time or I can multiple select by holding down the control key and that's what I'm gonna do today so we'll choose customer number Actually, we'll start out with customer name, then we'll go customer number, and then I would like their credit limit, and we'll take their first name and their last name, and how about their phone number. Let's go ahead and select their address, get the city, take the state, and the postal code and now I can just quickly move all those over. If they weren't in the order I would like to see them in the table, I can actually use the up and down arrows to move them to the location where I'd like them to be. So I have all the customer fields that I want, So, but I know I only want the ones from the US. So I'll choose filter and create a filter and say add a filter. I'll select that I want the country field and I'm not quite sure, don't remember how they presented the country name for the U.S. in there. Is it U.S.? Is it USA? Is it United States? United States of America? All these different ways it could be spelled and I'm not quite sure for this table. So I'll se do select values. I can scroll down and see they just use USA. So I can just select it very easy. I don't have to remember. I can just put that in there. So I'll do the hide list and I'll add that condition and I can validate to make sure I actually have it in there right and it should work and yes it tells me it's good so now I'll say OK and OK again and now I have the data ready to go and it just puts it right in there in the table for me so this is cool but I see a couple things that I need to fix because my boss is a stickler so the credit limit it doesn't look like it's formatted for currency so I'll quickly choose that I'd like to format that and I'll just choose the data and I'll say currency and I know this is US so I'll take the US but if I was doing it for another country for him I have a wide range of currency selectors for different countries and different types of currencies so I'll just go ahead and take the rest of the defaults and say okay 
I have that nice looking now. My phone number, that doesn't look clean and I want to make it look presentable, make it look like a phone number like he's used to seeing. So we'll go ahead and say format that data and in this case I'm going to choose custom. And you can see it gives me a couple different selections, you know, ideas of how I can set the format code and I see the one I want. So instead of me typing that in, I'll just quickly copy that and paste it into the format code. And say OK. And now my phone number looks nice and clean. I see a couple other different things and that I want to clean up a little bit. First of all, I have two fields for the name first name, last name, and I'd like to put those together. So I'll just select the first one and say I'd like a new computed column. And we're going to give this the name contact. And I can now enter expressions, sort of Excel-like looking expressions. You can see down in the examples, it gives me some information. If I'm not sure what functions are available, I could just start typing a letter and you can see for R it gives me quite a few different built-in functions I could use. In this case I'm going to do the example like they showed for concatenating two fields together so I just start out and I know I want customer first names or contact first name so I can just start typing it will narrow it down for me and I'll just select the first name and just like the example shows I'll do an ampersand and put a space in there between a couple quotes add another one my bracket and start typing and the more I type the more it filters so now we'll choose last name say OK so there's my contact first and last name I really don't need these other fields in here so I can select both of those and go into column and say delete just get rid of those and now I have that there so it's starting to look a little bit better but I notice my customer names aren't ordered so what I'd like to do is quickly order those and we'll sort that ascending by the customer name so I have that in there and I want to make the, it look a little bit cleaner so I'll resize some columns very quickly and easily by just dragging the columns over to resize those so everything displays nice and clean a little bit more name for my street name there and a little bit bigger for my customer name to make sure those aren't chopped off making it look a little bit nicer and we'll move over and give the contact field just a little bit more space so everything looks nice and clean now but we just have the customers listed and I'm you know my boss sort of want to see you know by state area but if I want to make them have it this way then the states are here so I'll go ahead and just quickly create a group by state and make it look nice. So I can do an add group and now I've grouped all my customers by state. They're in alphabetical order in the state. So it's starting to look nice and clean and you know he has the different credit limit here but I'd like to sort of put a divider in there and let them see some differences and I'm going to use $75,000 to make them understand you know what customers have credit limit above 75 and who are below 75 so I can quickly go in and do some conditional formatting of that so I'll just choose that I want to do conditional formatting and I'll say I want the credit limit to be and I have a lot of selections out here but I'm gonna say greater than or equal to seventy five thousand dollars and I'd like that to be formatted and I'll just choose the color red for that font say OK and I need to add a second rule for the ones below that so I'm gonna say credit limit less than seventy five thousand dollars and we want that to be formatted and I know my boss doesn't like green so I'm gonna choose this dark blue and say OK and just like that I was able to format the credit limit and let it stand out to him so he can really see who's above that $75,000 who's below that but I also know he'd like a visual in here because this is just a very tabular view makes it very hard to understand you know what is my outstanding credit limit by state and, and what does that look like for me so I can quickly add a chart I'll just choose I want to insert a chart and it will give me the types of charts I can insert here and I'll just choose a basic column chart and then we'll go ahead and select the fields I'm interested in so I'm gonna say I want state and we'll keep 
that we want to group by state and I want the credit limit and I have different types of aggregations out of the box but in this case I'm just going to choose sum. I could add a second series if I needed to but in this case I only need one and we'll go ahead and format this so let's give it a title and credit limit by state and a theme my boss is a stickler for making sure things look good and I don't want to take the time to go in and put all the different colors and things of like that so I'm just going to choose a theme and let it take care of the color scheme and the fonts everything the way he likes it because I know he likes this theme so I'll just choose I'd like that and we'll ha go ahead and show the legend and put that above for him and say okay so just like that I've got my chart built and there it is and there's a live preview of it HTML5 so I hold my mouse over the different bars and it gives me a little pop-up to tell me what the values are so we, we we're just about through here and ready to preview but I if I my boss wanted to print this out if he was big on printing these things out I could go ahead and choose page setup and here I can choose the orientation and the type of page I would like I have a couple different sizes right out of the box I can choose from the margins I want and I can set the theme on this report so I'm going to choose clean blue so my table will look good and say OK and we can see everything's ready to go if I wanted to format my table a little bit more I could go into the properties for the table and choose some margins the page break if I was going to be printing this report how many lines do I want per page so I can do different things like that on this but I'm ready to go here and we're just going to leave that as the default so I want to test this and make sure it works well when I save this off and give it to him so I'll just choose save and view and I could go ahead and change folders and put this into a common folder where all our reports live but for demonstration purposes I'll just leave it here so we'll go ahead and give it a name credit limit by state. If I wanted to I could put a description here and that would be like metadata that stayed with it so it would give a little bit more information to someone about what this report is for. So we'll just say OK. And now the report's up and viewing. And I can look at it. Yes, is it live HTML? Everything looks good. And I could also enable interactivity. This would provide my boss some self-service so he could work with the data as he seemed fit. So if he wanted to sort this, instead of by the customer name, by the credit limit, he could easily do that so he could see the difference levels of the credit limits in each state. So now it's ready to go for him. It looks good. So I'm going to save it and uh, send him a link to the report so he can run it. And, and see it for himself. So we'll go ahead and close this out. And you can see that I was very quickly able to get the report ready for him this afternoon in just a couple minutes. Everything's ready to go. I'd like to thank everybody for watching.